welcome back to the stovetop. I came across this coffee, I guess by mistake or without trying. It was a suggestion on an Amazon search. I can't remember at the time what I was looking for, but it's got suggested. Of course, it's in a red bag, so that got my attention, so I looked at it. And this is called the Red Goat. That's about all I know about it. It's advertised as the world's strongest coffee. And it's available in whole bean form, ground, or in K-cup form. In this case, I got a one pound bag of whole bean from Amazon for $19.95. I got free shipping because I ordered other things with it and I didn't have to use Amazon Prime. The reason I'm showing it here in this clear plastic bag that it came in is just to give you an idea of what to expect if you order this. It's just a long red bag marked the red goat with a picture of a goat on it and then this, this clear bag here has all kinds of warning labels on it that says you know uh, don't uh, don't let a kid suffocate themselves with uh, the bag. So if I rip this open a little thin bag this is uh, the red bag that the coffee beans are in Kind of, a, kind of a thick plastic here. It's a little bit more heavy duty than some of the bags I've, I've opened recently doing coffee reviews. And I mean, it's really kind of long, but you're, you're getting a pound of coffee, which I have to say that lately some of the coffees I've ordered in eight and 10 and 12 ounce bags, I've been really kind of disappointed. This is a full pound of coffee. It does have a Best Buy date here, Best Buy April of 2024, and it is August of 2022 right now. The Red Goat, London, Ontario, or uh, yeah, London, Ontario, so that's Canada. So I don't know if that's where it's shipped out of or not. It's got the website, theredgoat.com, and you have to have red, the Red Goat in there. Otherwise, it'll send you to some sort of bar in Minneapolis or something. Uh, made in Portugal, here we go. And this is what I was kind of interested to find out because on the website, and I'll include a link in the description section below, all it says is European roasting operation. That's literally it. I mean, it, it talks about how strong the coffee is and how it'll wake you up and you can work longer and all this other, but it, and, and it allows you to, to buy it on the website, but that's it. It really doesn't talk a lot about it. So I was wondering if I would find anything else here on the label. On the other side here where the barcode is, it's got store in a cool dry place. The Red Goat Coffee is created by using the strongest combination of beans and a perfect roasting process. Okay, so let's see how easy this is to open. It's just, looks like it'll just, yeah, just come right apart here at the top. Just fold, fold back the seam and, oh, these are dark beans. Oh, and I can smell right away. I get a cocoa smell right away. I mean, this is, uh, a foot and a half away from my nose and I have a poor sense of smell and I can smell that but all those beans in there are dark so I'm gonna go ahead and grind this up I'm gonna get it in Mr. Coffee I'll be brewing it with reverse osmosis drinking water and I'm kinda really interested to see how this tastes I'll be right back I don't always show me grinding the beans but you know what this coffee this is a little different I kinda wanna I want to get a closer look at these beans. Now it would be nice if they had some sort of a, a flap or a reclosable seal on this bag. They don't have that. But still, it's a pound of coffee. So the beans do look a little bit oily. Not, not very oily, but there is there's a little bit there. grind there nice even kind of thicker pieces at the bottom thinner pieces at the top but yeah all right let me get in mr. coffee all right mr. coffee's all done brewing and gurgling and hissing it's kind of a medium to dark color, not quite a dark roast type color. It 
It's going to be too hot to drink right away, but I can do the smell test. I'm not getting uh, any sort of strong aroma off of it. It kind of smells just like coffee. Uh, not really that strong, and I have a poor sense of smell, so that's one of the, the parts of doing the coffee reviews on my, my channel that I really don't give the audience uh, an, an accurate description of the coffee. While I wait for it to cool off a little bit, I'm going to address the bag once again, the fact that it doesn't have a reclosable seal. So I'm just going to fold this over and use a chip clip, a magnetic chip clip. This is something that when you're out and about at some sort of touristy area, in this case this was Las Vegas, this is one that you can buy inexpensively at pretty much any gift shop there, comes in real handy. Having the magnet means you can hang them all over your fridge. You never know when you're going to need a chip clip. And I found that sometimes they make a good gift and sometimes they don't. You're, you're traveling somewhere where you know your friend hasn't been or they're probably not likely to go and you want to get them something. You're not trying to break the bank, but you're not really too sure. Maybe you can get them a mug, but they've got a hundred mugs. Maybe you can get them a glass, but now you're worried it's going to get broke when you're uh, traveling back or something like that. A chip clip. It's small and it does the job. And anybody who turns down a free chip clip uh, obviously doesn't open a lot of things. Yesterday I did a coffee review on Julian Coffee and I had to use another chip clip that we had. We've got them hanging all over so they come in handy. Definitely a good gift idea. I'm kind of disappointed when I go to a national park and the gift shop doesn't have a chip clip for us. Alright, so I've bought a little bit of time for this to cool off but normally I'd let it cool a little longer. Okay. Hmm. It tastes all right. Um, I'm getting maybe some some cocoa there in the middle towards the end. Let me let this cool off a little bit. Have a few cups. I'll come back and I'll let you know if it's giving me any sort of energy. I did get a full night's sleep last night, which is unusual for me. So I've already got that going for me, but uh, let me see if this uh, maybe wakes me up quickly, if it makes me jittery, if it does anything like that. And, and if I get any sort of uh, bitterness or any sort of other unpleasant kind of taste to it as I drink it. I've noticed that with some coffees that claim to be strong, they're not strong at all, not in my opinion. I like strong coffee. Not necessarily dark roasts, but strong coffee. Uh, and I've had a few other ones that have claimed to be strong and in a cup and a half it's got me wired already. So, Yeah, initially it doesn't really taste bad. I'll be back with some final thoughts. Alright, I'm on my fourth cup. The coffee is good. It just tastes like regular coffee. It's not flavored or any, anything. If I had to say there was some sort of taste in it that maybe was more distinct, it would be cocoa. There's there's some cocoa in there that I can detect. Kind of like a dark chocolate, but not really very strong. Otherwise, it's coffee flavored coffee. It's smooth and it's somewhat rich. It's not the richest coffee that I, I've tasted, but it's it's better than say like Maxwell House or Folgers or 8 o'clock coffee or something like that. As far as it giving me energy, I noticed before I got halfway through the first cup, I was starting to wake up. It's not making me jittery or agitated, anything like that. I don't have any shakes or anything like that. I would say that it's got some kick to it, but this is not the world's strongest coffee. Not in my opinion. I've had stuff that's that's been stronger than this. So, But overall, it's not bad coffee at all. It really isn't. For the price, you get a pound for $20, and it's, it's a lot smoother than, you know, your regular store-bought coffee, right? Uh, I would absolutely recommend this if you're already throwing some things in your cart on Amazon. I'll include a link to the Red Goat store and to this particular whole bean bag in the description section below. One other thing, I tried to 
get the coffee to taste bitter. A few times I let it get down to about a third of a cup and walked away and did a few things and came back and it was cooler. It, it was lukewarm. It wasn't, wasn't cold yet or anything else like that. And it didn't get bitter. And I've noticed that as the coffee, some coffees as they cool, they get bitter. I, one of the things I like about uh, a really good coffee or something I would call a really good coffee is a coffee that doesn't get bitter at all. It just doesn't. And this, this didn't. So if you want coffee flavored coffee that is smoother and richer and maybe has a little bit more kick than something you'd ordinarily buy at the store, if you're okay with whole bean, ground, or K-cups, and you're already buying something on Amazon, try out Red Goat, or THE Red Goat, THE Red Goat, and uh, make sure you've got a, a chip clip or something. Thanks for watching.